Hello YouTube and welcome back to our family. If you want to learn more about the Reptile Hobby's favourite, the Ball Python, then you are in the right place. So stay tuned guys, I've got some things to share with you today. We'll roll that intro and we'll have a butchers. Some of the nosier viewers among you, if you've been keeping an eye on my Instagram, you would have seen earlier on in the week, I took a little visit to the one and only Paul Milner's facility at Over Constructors. Um, I spent about a half hour, 40 minutes in Paul's facility. Um, not only did I pick up a new mail, which is really gonna push the projects forward here at TOR, um, but we opened some tubs and we had a look at some snakes come home with burnt hands from holding so much heat um, uh, it really did make my day so huge thanks to Paul for that um, so the the reason for the, the, the pickup was really out of a eureka moment uh, I was scrolling through morph market like most of us here do um, and uh, I, not only did I see this snake but I straight away saw what I can do with it um, with some of the genes that I already have present in the collection. So um, we'll flip the camera around and we'll have a look at what I've picked up. I'm hoping that the light is gonna do this guy justice, but you know how it is, it never does. There he is. Obviously this is a clown. This is actually a inchy fire clown. And the quality there is absolutely undeniable. The blushing in those blacks the rich deep colours that the Enchi brings and then the highlighted tones which is probably brought in by the fire. Um, it really is, really is a high, high quality animal that get a load of that head. So you might be saying, you know, calm down Joe, it's nothing amazing genetically. You know, but you know, for my collection, it is. You know, everything this guy produces is going to be at a minimum pet clown. Um, but that quality is there. Um, so the plans that I have for this guy then. Um, so with this being Enchi Fire Clown, I am the, the the plan that I have for him. I'll, I'll bring him out. Actually, I'll show show you the mum or what will be the mum. She's not breeding weight yet, but she is not far off. And by the time he's breeding size, she will be as well. Um, so, this is a leopard vanilla het clown. It was sold to me as a possible het, um, but I'm not too concerned about that. You can almost see with this back stripe and how the pattern's coming in it's almost like it's trying to be clown so a real strong visual head clown influence in this in this snake so you notice i say she's vanilla that is a gene that is allelic with the fire so um if you keep up to date with um some of the animals that are being produced just in at canova earlier last season produced the vanilla cream clowns. I think there was yellow belly in the mix as well. Um, and they they were really stunning. So that pair, this pairing that we, we would have here could produce those with the added bonus of leopard and enchi. So two big pattern influencing genes there. You know, so it is long odds, but you know, even if we don't produce it in the first clutch, it will take us a step closer at least um, to to producing that, that goal. Um, nobody that I know of is, is, is working it, is trying to get Leopard and Enchi into the Vanilla Cream Clowns. To be honest, I don't really know many people that are working Vanilla Cream Clowns full stop, but if you haven't seen them already guys, go and have a look. They are, they are breathtaking for sure. Right then guys, another snake that I have planned for him will be this girl, obviously. Um, another 
quality, quality clown. I got this girl from uh, Bryn at Bryn's Balls. Stunning quality clown. Really good, strong, rich colours. Not really browning out this one. If, in fact, if, if anything, she's getting a bit lighter. Um, I like the um, sort of cleaner patterns in the clowns, the less busier patterns. Um, so yeah, no real surprises in that one. That will just produce all clowns with Enchi on fire in the mix as well. I will also put into a couple of other females. Um, my uh, lesser Mojave female for sure to make some Mojave lesser het clowns with Enchi and Fire as well. So he's he's uh, he's going to be hard to work. We're not going to waste him here. He's um, absolutely going to be maximising on that potential. Before we move on, guys, this girl um you would probably remember from the uh previous video i didn't actually pair this one because the male was in shed um so she's gonna get paired up tonight we'll watch how the male goes in as we do to our style um and see if it looks promising for a lock <laughs> also who um will be getting paired is the Enchi Hepide female. You can see she's got a glow on. She's now stopped eating. She's extremely grumpy. And um, she's getting much chunkier and V-shaped down this section. Um, sure signs, I'm, I'm confident this one will go. So yeah, let's, um, let's get them paired up. So guys, here is the banana wrenchy hep pied just shed. So he's going to go in with on top. He's going to go in with wrenchy hep pied. I've just put his nose on the edge, tongue flicking straight away. He's smelling that female. Let's see what he does. Right over towards the female there. Dive it in. Bring the camera around now so you can see what he's doing. He's already rubbing up against it. Hang on, let's bring you in. See there, look, he's pushing his body up against the. Straight over the top, the dominant position. He is a strong breeder, this one, but um, no doubt locked by morning. Next up, then, guys, is the Burgundy, possible het for Pied, hoping to prove him out as uh, being Pied. You might ask, well, why not pair him up to the Pied then? The reason is, is because before I got him, I was already pairing the Banana Het Pied up to my Visual Pied female. Um, and he is already going to a visual pied female anyway later on, which is also het for burgundy. So um, he's go he's going in with the Enchi het pied that I proved out a couple of seasons ago. Um, he's not been as eager as the other one, so uh, I'm gonna put him in and watch him see how he goes. I'm also gonna throw the banana Enchi uh, males shed in with him see if that spurs him on. Um, I know last time I paired them up, I didn't witness a lot. And he looked like he was uh, a little bit less interested. But we'll give it a whirl. Head on the edge, tongue flicking. Oh, he seems a lot more eager this time. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not sure if we've got the camera in the right position. Mm, better. Let's see. 
a little bit more eager there. Guys, let's have a look. At the pie and the banana pie. Banana head pie, should I say? Oh, I've got a great view there, but as suspected, yeah, there's a lot there. This female's already well on her way as well. Stopped eating a while ago after a mad feeding craze. Yeah, no worries, but they weren't really the ones I was concerned about. Oh, these two, hope to see a lock here. Oh, yes! Oh, thank God. So, he did go in a little bit more eagerly, so maybe he was ready, or maybe it was the other male shed that did the trick, which sort of spurred him on, but that's a lock. This female is building quite quickly. So hopefully before I pair this male to the burgundy hep pied, um, we should know beforehand if he's hep for pied. If not, then we'll get burgundies at 100% hep for pied, which is no, n never a bad thing. But yeah, happy to see them locked. I did also do another pairing off camera. Um, just going to check on those. And they're locked as well. Brilliant. Nice. Well then guys, that is a sneak peek into the season so far. There will be a few more pairings yet, um, but I'm a little bit undecided about which male to put with them. Um, we do already have the gravid female, which if you saw the last video, you guys will know about. She hasn't done a prelay shed yet. But it is any any day now, so in approximately 30 days we'll have our first clutch on the ground. So it's all looking good guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.